Amityville, the Devil's House. Assembling ground floor. The first height of the building is made up of the basements. This piece is the floor of the main building. It has some horizontal windows that give light to the basement, but only the eastern part of the basement receives sunlight. The brick staircase gives access to the back of the house. The exterior staircase on the south facade of the building, the main entrance. The base of the west gallery. And the base of the terrace. All these pieces would be glued into position. Defined by the pins that fit together. The terrace has five pieces. The tile floor with some steps and the four brick railings, the same as the original house. These five pieces have been glued together previously. The pins of the railings also serve to fit the complete terrace to its base, without the need of glue. This is the floor of the ground floor, which we put in position. This piece has modeled different floor textures for the rooms, tiles and wood floors. And with an access to the basement where a door will be assembled. This piece is more complex, the elevation of the ground floor. With the textures of walls, fireplace, windows and exterior door frames. It is printed upside down so that the result is perfect without supports. The windows have exterior shutters like the original house. The chimney has a great finish. Its front piece has been glued to the elevation to achieve a higher quality and detail. Already defined the space without interiors of the ground floor. We can place many figures for our games. These are 28 mm scale from previous projects. To complete the interior of the floor we assemble the piece of the room divisions and an original piece of furniture of the house. It simply fits together with the staircase and the exterior facade. This single piece defines the entire layout of the floor plan. The main access door, the distributor and the interior staircase. The kitchen, the dining room with access to the terrace and the living room with fireplace with two accesses to the west gallery. To finish the rear entrance of the house we will paste this rear elevation. Placing before in its axes of rotation the exterior rear door. This entrance has a lantern on the wall and a small window. The door can only be opened in the correct direction of rotation. The canopy of this rear entrance would be attached. Each floor has an interior door design, with the same size, they can be interchanged. The two leaves of each door have been printed in one piece. They are simply folded and glued together on both sides. Doors with gaps can have a clear acetate in the middle to simulate glass. For example, these terrace doors. The access doors to the terrace are placed. Also the main door, with a unique design similar to the original house. These two doors give access to the gallery. This is our gallery, with its pieces previously glued. It has three exit doors with two leaves, which only open in the right direction. It is assembled on its base without glue. We can place its roof, which is the west terrace of the second floor with its original railings. The rest of the doors, ten in all, are assembled. With all the doors placed on their axes, they can be glued to the floor to achieve greater consistency. The ground floor is almost finished. The only thing left to do is to glue the exterior railings to the stairs. Perfect, all the pieces in place. If you are going to paint the model, we recommend painting the pieces before gluing them, they are easier to handle. Thank you very much for your attention. 
See you in Amityville, the Devil's House.